Greg Souter, 360 Yield Center. As we plant corn here today, let's talk a little bit about how do we dress a planter for success? So we're talking about how do you feed it? What's the nutrient plan that we have here in this particular cornfield? Corn after soybeans. So this particular planter we're running here has Bandit. So on the Bandit side, we're putting 30 gallon of a 28% and thiosol to equal 80 units of nitrogen. I'm looking to put that nitrogen on within three inches on each side of the seed with the bandit. And then as we talk about perfect placement of seed, how about starter? So we're talking about getting that corn out to an early start. With a new wave system that is a closing and a starter placement, we're looking at getting a quick reaction to starter. We know what, starter can advance corn by as much as five to seven days in maturity, probably get a point to point and a half less moisture at harvest. So let's come in close here and we'll talk this, what's happening on this particular row unit. We'll talk first about where's the nitrogen, then we'll show you the closing system of wave, and then end we'll have exactly where the starter is. So come right in here with me and let's take a look. So as I can show you the first the seed placement, so we're planting here at an inch and three quarters. And then as we look ahead here, you can see one of the bandits at three quarters of an inch depth, three inches over here on the right side. And you can see the exact track of the bandit here on the left side. So six inches apart, we have our nitrogen and we want it shallow. Three quarters of an inch under, we'll let moisture migrate this down, what I call the sweet spot when these first crown roots start to come out. And then we start talking about the wave itself. So you can see the wave is running here and it's three quarters of an inch over to the side of the seed and a little bit lower. And then it's creating an actual wave so that as, as you watch it here, you can see right here is the next seed. So we're planting here at 36,000. So you can see we're a lot, little less than five inches apart and you can see where the wave actually tucked this seed. So the wave created a closing, and then right here is where the starter itself is placed. So it's below, slightly below, and about three quarters of an inch over. You'll see the radical root, which is the first root out, come immediately into this environment. So as we continue to work our way up here, let's just continue to work. I'm pulling what we created, the wave over it, We'll come up in here and we'll find that next seed. And so as I move here through, and right here he is, he's tucked in in perfect position. This is what I call about placing seed for success. And right over here to the side, we have the starter. Over here further yet to the left side, we have the nitrogen here on top on both sides. So we think about dressing a planter to go after high yields, profitable yields. This is what we're looking in the 360 system.